What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. We're driving a 2018 Corvette Z06 today. Woo woo. I'll give you guys some uh, a nice cold start here in a minute. She needs to be washed. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do here in a minute. Bring her to the touchless car wash. Do it yourself touchless car wash place because uh, it seems like every time I wash cars, even with microfibers for a while, I wind up leaving swirl marks all in the paint. Um, I did expel PPF, the front half of the car, but I definitely don't wanna obviously swirl mark my doors or the rear or the roof. So um, I'm just afraid that even after I spray it down with soap or something, there'll still be contaminants left when I go in to rub the soap in or even dry it off that I'll wind up, you know, leaving swirl marks in the paint. Um, it's brand new 2018 Z06. Uh, has, I put about 2,200 miles on it already. So, uh, I just wanna keep it real nice. I did add some tint to my reflectors. Never liked the way those look. But as far as that, bone stock Z06 not gonna modify anything else I usually like black rims but these these uh, silver brush rims look pretty good I mean um, if I did do anything one day I mean maybe I'll get them uh, in, a, in a brush black I don't know but uh, I'll do a little cold start for you guys as you can see really dirty I haven't washed it since I bought the car um, so yeah we're gonna go wash it but I mean I absolutely love what they did with this car um, I love the little hidden stash cubby there gotta get the manual you just got to it's a seven-speed manual um, I'm paranoid, so I bought these Z06 seat covers to protect my seats. As you can, as you can see, my seat is already showing signs of wear from getting in. So I try to kind of put that over there like that to protect it. And maybe I'm crazy, but I also wear this glove to protect my steering wheel from unnecessary like hand sweat or oil um, I'm coming from a, a 2017 Shelby GT350 and that had Alcantara all over the steering wheel so that's what initially prompted me wearing this glove but uh, I figured the habit it would be good for the habit to carry over onto this vehicle even though this steering wheel is not Alcantara um, but like I said, I'm paranoid. You can even see I put these kick panels on here because I got big feet and I'm six foot two. So when I get out, I often accidentally kick right there and I don't want to mark up the door. I got those on both sides as well, as well as the center console armrest cover because I mean, maybe my arm will be dirty one day or sweaty, I don't know. But I put my arm here a lot when I drive to, and keep my hand on the, the shifter here so I don't want to uh, wear the, um, the uh, armrest out. So you can see we got a nice heads up display there. I like to show my tire pressure and tire temperature on the gauge there. And honestly, I've driven this thing almost 2,000 something miles and I have I've never seen the tires get warm they're supposed to like change to red when they get warm but I've driven this thing for a while and it's never been red it's always been green so I don't know maybe it's because it's winter here but honestly it's like 60 something degrees out here right now so it's not a very harsh winter here in Atlanta Georgia um, but yeah 
let's go wash the car guys obviously i'm not gonna be able to do any hard pulls right now we're just gonna go wash the car but you can hear that that supercharged v8 in there just humming away let's get pulled in here see if i can get one of these spots at the car wash Another thing to note about this vehicle, if you're not familiar with Corvettes, it really scared me at first, but there's something called the Ackerman effect. And the Ackerman effect is something you experience when turning at low speeds in a Corvette. Basically, uh, it feels like your front tire is, is dragging, and that's because the alignment is set up for, for track is what I've been told um, and you can change that to where it doesn't do the Ackerman effect but personally I wouldn't I like that it's set up for track and I don't mind the uh, the Ackerman effect and you'll mainly feel it when the tires are cold so um, nothing to be concerned about I honestly was scared because when I got home that's when I noticed the Ackerman effect occurring like in my parking lot and I was like, dude, my car's broken. I just bought this car. What the F? So, but all right, guys, let's go wash this bad boy. Bonk. Gotta take the vape. Vape Nash. Vape Nash. Shout out H3H3. Got a bunch of quarters in my pocket. Well guys, there she is. Not exactly perfectly clean. The uh, the spray method I thought that would work did not really get all the dirt off. It's uh, pretty unsatisfactory. As you can see, it's still full of dirt. Um, so it looks like I am gonna have to uh, hand scrub it, which means I gotta go to all of them or O'Reilly's or one of those places. I don't, I don't really care. Somewhere that sells good microfiber and chamois. You need a chamois to dry it off, you don't want water spots. Is the chamois a good idea? The chamois create swirl marks? Or is it microfibers or is it both? I don't know. But I know I don't want to swirl mark my car but I gotta dry it and I gotta get the rest of this damn dirt off. So what do you do? What do you do? I guess you could always buff the swirl marks out, it's not a big deal. But, being a paranoid new Z06 owner, you know, comes with the territory. And, we're gonna go to an auto parts store. I gotta get some stuff now. Wipers. Man, this, this thing gets a lot of looks on the road. A lot of people wanna know who you are driving it. I mean, it's an $80,000 sports car. It's not a Lamborghini or anything. But people still, people still like the Z06, you know. I would consider this a supercar. I mean, it's American-made and all. The engine's in the front. It's not a mid-engine, of course. But 650 horsepower, 650 torque. I mean, come on. That's the same as most supercars these days. I'm sure if, if this car had better traction, like if they made an all-wheel drive version of this car, it could probably keep up with your McLarens and uh, Huracans. But I've yet to see, I've yet to 
really race anybody in the car. I mean, I've only had it for a month. But I will tell you one thing. It's a hell of a lot better than the Shelby GT350. Sorry, Ford guys. I like the Shelby. It's a great car. It's good for its own bracket. This is just in a higher bracket. Not hating, but 526 horsepower and what was it, 429 foot-pounds of torque. Naturally aspirated. That's good for NA. This is supercharged. Come on, guys. 650, 650. <clears throat> I'd actually like to race a GT350 because honestly, with the problem this car has with, with traction <laughs> and then the Shelby's uh, lack of power, I really shouldn't say lack of power, just 529, what is it, 526 horsepower isn't, uh, isn't really good to say. It's not really uh, right to call it a lack of power, especially because it's an NA, but you yeah, know. Atlanta traffic. It's rush hour too. So you know there's gonna be mad traffic one day pretty soon. I'm gonna get some mounts for this camera, guys, but I could put one right here with this little sticky mount I have on here, but I don't want a sticky thing on my windshield. So I have I've ordered a uh, a suction cup mount for the for the cam. And I should get that in a few days. We'll see how that goes. Jixer. Jixer gang. Yeah, I love this car. This is the 1LZ trim level. Like I said before, 2018 Corvette Z06. And this is the 1LZ. Um, I didn't really need the seat warmers and the uh, seat coolers. Um, I do have PDR, but only in the rear. I don't have any front-facing cameras, which is fine with me because I know how to drive. So I don't need any front-facing cameras, honestly. So I'll save the money. <clears throat> I really just love this car for the way it looks and the way it sounds and uh, how fast it is when you, when you can get traction. It's great. And the interior, I gotta say, Chevrolet did a, a great job on the interior. In comparison to other sports cars I've owned, this one takes the cake. I haven't owned any exotics, so maybe I don't, uh, maybe I haven't owned enough vehicles to compare it to, but I have owned Mustangs, I've owned Camaros, I have owned Trans Ams. All older stuff though. SN95 Mustangs and I had the S550 Shelby. And uh gonna get over. It's clear. Um where should I go? Advanced or O'Reilly? Advanced or O'Reilly? I'll hear how it just kicks in gear there. Love it. And I double clutch a lot. I don't know if I'm if I really should, but from my experience, it's healthier for your clutch. But when you do double clutch in this car with rev match on, it always gives a nice little rev pop. And I love that. So alright, let's pull into advanced auto here. Advanced Auto. Vape niche.
Oh, smoke free business. Can't do that here. Sorry. So now y'all get to see me watch my car, wash, wash my car, again, for a second time. Aren't you excited? Damn it. I'm getting <laughs> stuff in my car. Is anybody else paranoid like me about their car, about keeping it perfect? I was the same way with the Shelby, it's not just the Corvette. All right, guys, here we are again. Back at it. Gonna wash the car this time. Got a new washcloth. The other one was dirty. Don't wanna uh, make any surface scratches in the clear coat. And I got a special no scratch chamois. Some wheel cleaner, all my other supplies here. Luckily, the condos where I live at have a uh, free pressure washer thing. So you might ask why the hell I went to the car wash place. Well, they had powered soap kind of like a foam cannon coming through there so I thought that would be better um, but it didn't work out but honestly she looks pretty clean but if you get up close you can see she's not so we're gonna make her a lot cleaner right now all right guys Bonk. and that concludes today's video guys running out of light here fast the car is almost dry I'm gonna finish drying it Thanks for tuning in with us. My beautiful 2018 Z06 Carvette. It's looking nice. Hopefully, no surface scratches. I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for joining.